it ever everything started I was like uh, five six years old I knew what was happening but you know for the kids uh, you don't you don't think much about that you know they were parents that uh, they were always uh, thinking uh, for them and for for us also when we hear this uh, sounds you know like sirena so how do you call it like silence yeah. silence yeah when the dang dangerous uh, is coming so we had to hide uh, I remember when when I started playing football, my father was uh, since uh, everything was destroyed, you know, and uh, even even after that, you know, to get to the training, I had to take the bus first, then uh, then another one, and like then a tram as well. So so it would need me to get to training like one hour. So my father almost every day took me to training, even with. Even when he was walking, you know, took me to training. After training, he always bring me something to eat, you know, banana, you know. My mother is always telling me, you know, uh, you were the perfect, uh, perfect son, you know, in the way that uh, he puts me in the corner there and uh, gives me a little bit of bread and uh, I'm there for two hours just smiling and eating it. So, so that's, that's how she des describes me. After the war, everything was uh, was destroyed, obviously, and uh, there wasn't a city, let's say, like that. So now everything is uh, repaired and uh, looks uh, looks much 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 better. I think the people uh, the people there uh, were, were when someone is coming from uh, from outside, they're really good guests. And, uh, they will always try to help you and uh, and to feel you feel like home. And, uh, I don't know. And everything about uh, about Sarajevo for me is uh, is number one. Obviously, I grew up there. Was uh, all my life there. My family, friends, and uh, to be fair, uh, every time I have uh, some days off, I'm uh, I'm flying home. The most important thing uh, in uh, in my football life was to. Even if sometimes uh, you know it's uh, it's difficult to say that, but that's the reality. You know, to go to go away from Bosnia to play in in Czech Republic, because uh, there I uh, since we didn't have uh, the opportunities in uh, Bosnia, you know, to to improve and be better, and for me it was the best the best way to to go away, and uh, I definitely did. Uh, did the right thing, and I definitely straight away from Czech Republic. Uh, I I have improved a lot, and I had the coach who knew me there, so he was uh, he was even better. So that's the probably the most important part of me getting uh, where I am now. When I was growing up, for me, Serie A was uh, was uh, was always always number one and the best league. My dream was definitely to one day play in Serie A. Italian league is uh, tactic, tactic, tactic. It's it's amazing, you know, how much I learned in uh, in in three years that uh, I'm here in Italy. I played in Germany. I played in England. In Germany, you could never give up. You know. Because the teams, the mentality of the Germans was is always like that. English Premier League is uh, probably the toughest and the most difficult league because uh, all the press are so strong, so quick, and uh, so so well prepared. You know, the most things about football I learned in Italy. It's. Uh, it's crazy how they think about every small details, you know. And then they tell you some things, you know, for example, how to run, you know, behind the defender. And in some situations, none, nothing in front of him because it's easy for him to catch you then. It's just, you know, 
just how how really football is, and uh, those are things that uh, nobody told you before, but uh, makes sense. Makes sense. So, so I, I'm definitely more than uh, happy that I came to Italy, and uh, I definitely learned learned a lot about football here. Home fields uh, uh, where I where I feel good and where I where I'm just thinking about football when there is no no other problems uh, on the side where my family is happy and uh, and my family is definitely happy. I got two kids in Rome. They were both born in uh, Rome, so so also that's why it's a home for me for them. Uh, even if uh, Hope number one will always be Bosnia and Sarajevo, but uh, we really feel good in uh, Rome. Life is good, the weather is good, food is good, you know. Not far away from uh, from uh, home number one, so so we're definitely enjoying it.